Hey, if you do run into her, let me know. I'd like to have a word. I bet she'll be pretty upset to learn what the church has been doing in her name. <laughs> oh. Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the Goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. All right, that's gold from the Church of Saros. Cast my birthday, uh, just give the 200 gold. Oh uh, yeah, this will be a good time to talk with Dimitri. Let's do this. Perfect timing, Professor. If you don't mind, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. What's the favor? It's in regard to sword training. Not for myself, but... Well, to be honest, I've been teaching swordsmanship to the orphans at the monastery for a while now. Huh. How did that come to be? Ugh. <laughs> Some of them saw me sparring with the knights one day. They started pestering me to teach them. They were so earnest, I couldn't help but oblige. There's much I wish to show them, but due to my own studies and training, I'm afraid my time is rather limited. Which brings me to my favor. Your swordsmanship is unmatched. I hate to ask this of you, but would you consider lending me a hand? Ah, uh, you can come to me. Thank you, truly. I am in your debt, and I always repay my debts, I'll have you know. All of these children lost their families and homes to war or illness. This may sound a bit arrogant, but I feel it's my responsibility to help them. I lost my parents without warning, too. In that way, we're the same. In Dusker, I lost my father, stepmother, and closest friends. I didn't have many allies at the castle after that. In truth, I had only to do for companionship. Do you need a hug? I once had people I could confide in. Family, friends, instructors, even the royal soldiers. But they were all taken away from me four years ago. Ah, but there were those outside the castle walls I was close to, such as Rodrigue. Rodrigue? Rodriguez. <laughs> Pardon my rudeness. I meant Lord Rodrigue. He is my father's old companion, and the father of Felix. On the occasions he would visit the capital, he'd take me out hunting, or on long horse rides. While Dudu is like a brother to me, Rodrigue is more like a second father. It might sound ridiculous, but he's the kind of man I hope to become one day. Someone who helps others. Someone who can reach out and save a lost soul. Oh. Please, accept my apologies for boring you with my life story. In any case, don't forget your promise, Professor. I'm counting on you. Yes, for sure. And don't worry, your story's not boring. I find it intriguing right now. So, our task for this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery to help put a stop to that assassination plot. The knights will certainly have their hands full protecting Lady Rhea. And perhaps our enemy is counting on that. I agree. Please, elaborate. Why would Lord Lenato be carrying around a secret note with an assassination plot written on it? Isn't it possible he hoped to monopolize everyone's attention with this alleged plot in order to distract from his true aim? Maybe they're after the treasure vault. <gasps> There's also lots of valuable stuff in the library and Professor Hanneman's quarters. No one wants Hanneman's little freaking research note. Next. True. 
The monastery undoubtedly houses many weapons that rival even the hero's relics. Whatever their aim, we can't allow any harm to come to the ladies of the monastery. I mean, what would I do with my spare time? You could be used for for once. You mean to say we should search the monastery, try to find what the enemy is truly after? Yes. And we should be prepared to fight them as well, should it come to that. I wouldn't mind getting in some training, just in case. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, hello. Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Seros, and this young man here is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Hello, Cyril. You're Shamir's apprentice? Yep, she's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. Okay. Mm. We feel like there's going to be a distraction coming up soon. So, yeah. So all we can do is do exploration. Fortunately, we got a lot of supports. Well, support with this. Uh, I need support from Happy. Cool. Everything else I could just skip. Thank you for sparring with me, your highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? No, I cannot allow that. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. So you recognized it. Yes, he shared much with me. I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, no. He never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. That family's not big on displays of affection. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself. And like Glenn. I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, your highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our trading sessions as much as you do. Pappy! I've been looking everywhere for you. What's going on? Something urgent? Oh no. <laughs> but I promised to tell you the rest of the Luna Knight's tale, remember? Huh. I'd forgotten all about that. If you really want to tell the story that badly, I guess just go ahead. Okay, I will. Do you remember where I left off? Hmm. Well, you were telling me something about how the Luna Knight was hard on liars and cheaters. Right. So her husband, Duke Regan, turns out to be a bit of a libertine. <laughs> That's hilarious. My favorite part was when she caught her husband in the act and tossed him out the window. I thought tales about knights were supposed to be straight-laced, but this one's raunchy as heck. I'm uh, glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Usually these tales are pretty serious. But sometimes in a serious story, you need lighter moments like that to connect to the characters. It helps to see that even these great heroes made mistakes now and again. Just like us. You're so trusting, Freckles. For some reason, I find it endearing. 
But you shouldn't take something at face value just because it's written down. The truth is, knights do plenty of things that aren't heroic at all. Things that hurt people. You're not wrong. Some knights do terrible things. That doesn't make the Great Ones any less worthy of honor, though. What about knights who have died taking a stand against the Church? Would you call them great? That's... complicated. Or what about the knights who put me in abyss, promising to release me from my curse? When they couldn't, they left me there out of fear for what I might do. Does that sound honorable to you? Happy... I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry. I can't help but say nasty things. Got any more stories for me? Maybe another racy one? Uh, yes, actually. I came prepared with the most... Uh, racy ones I could find. In case you happen to ask. Of course you did. Let's hear one then. There's gonna be a lot of story time with Happy and Nash, huh? I bet that's their whole story. Story times. Alright, let's begin the exploration. A hero's relic. Uh do you know something? However, could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. You spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. I was thinking about the enemy objective. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. Ah, party pooper this one is. The monks declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. That's racist. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! The monks they said given this. So, um, in the last month, if you got the DLC, Constance give you an assignment where you have to go to battle and uh, destroy some bandit and you get some sort of list. Um, here is the list. But mostly, basically, you see all these lost items, and previously, it's like, I don't know who they belong to, you just have to make a guess, or just remember where you found the items. Now, they put, like, a little symbol right there that tells you which class they belong to. Like, this belongs to someone from the Blue Lion's house. This one belongs to the Alliance. This one belongs to someone from the church. And this one belongs to someone from the Black Eagles. Huzzah! Hey, Dimitri, buddy. If the enemy's aim lies elsewhere, we had better discern their true intent quickly. As I see it, our best option is to explore every inch of the monastery. We should also speak to everyone here. Let's plan to compare notes once you've got a lead. Got it. Will you do me a favor? We need to know the enemy motive so we can adapt. Let's talk to people around the monastery to see if we can learn anything that might lead us to a clue. No, thy enemies. No, the thing. Go to earrings. Official flowers. Oh, hey, Professor. I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed, stuff like that. Uh huh. Anyways, hey, I got a favor to ask. Fire instruments. Uh, we should get involved with this in a bit. But for now, I think I have something that belongs to you. This tattered overcoat. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. Sure. Join me. Hey, Professor. No? Fine. Ah, do you know what this room is? It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Alright, investigation note. Hey, Professor. Oh, the monastery holds many treasures. Maybe the enemy is after one of those? 
Even so, the idea of stealing from a church is just horrible. Oh no, that's gonna really hurt us all. <gasps> My plants! Okay, that feels much better. It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrick Mach's 995 year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. All right, thank you, Michelle Viper, Hyper Poison Ivy. I think it's, yeah, poison. There's someone else that takes care of plants too. Okay, I guess. If you uh wanna chat a little. A little. Didn't I see you in the dining hall last night? Hey, I get hungry sometimes. Like anyone else. What? Eating at night is bad for you. <laughs> There's no way that's true. Wait, really? Really? Let me see if I could raise your um support up before I try to Kidnap you to the blue lines. Something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. Agreed. <laughs> I bought the ingredients for making some sweet treats. I can't wait to eat. Huh? Oh, can't I, wait I to eat. I know it looks like I'm fooling around, but I'm not. I'm preparing for potential battle during my patrol by making sure I have plenty of food I can eat while walking. Smart, huh? Mm, good thinking. <laughs> I know. Once they're ready, I promise to share some with you. Look at notes and box. Seems like a reload. Worry often leads to growth. Dar growth. Cause you love them growths. Next! Uh, worrying is a waste of time and time is money. Of course. So many foolish It's just far with them. Just beat the crud out of them. Eh. I can't stop thinking about Lenato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Uh, put yourself together. Oh, thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. I checked on my brother and sister, who were living in Castle Gaspar. Thankfully, they're all right. I was worried because they're both so young, but the church in the castle town offered to take them in. That much, at least, is a big relief. That's great. Hmm. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? Well, unless those books are part of the, you know, not for kids part section. So he has every right to get rid of those books. Unbelievable. What a terrifying story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. No one wants your stuff, Tannerman. Let's see. Thanks for your help. I know the enemy down so many possibles. I wonder what creature section will show reveal all. So, there is something that the church values above all else. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make gaining entry far easier than usual. You know the place of which I speak. 
Uh, do you mean the Dunya? No, the Holy Mausoleum. Yes, that is the most likely possibility. We do not know their objective, but there is a good chance that our enemy is planning to target the Holy Mausoleum. Cool. Now, let's continue on doing other stuff. Hmm, setting fire to the stables to distract everyone, to cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. No one wants to steal horses. Please, do me a favor. But regard, I may deserve it, and it would two of the same teeth set. Find someone that deserves that likes tea. Well, to be fair, I do enjoy myself some tea. I think I like tea better than coffee, but hey. The goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the Church of Seros. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration? First off... I got something for you. Oh, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. Second, get this tea. How kind of you. Third law, join my house. It would seem that your reputation is on the rise. It's a shame I am not. Fine. I will have to repay you sometime. Now we can invite people to tea. I swear it. <laughs> Okay, I swear I get Lorenz's support right now. I would have been even more cross. And what I mean by what I was going to be cross is because I can only ask them once if they want to join my house and they say no, I have to wait for the next week. Professor, while the investigation is important, don't forget to make time for your training. If we have to battle and cannot win, all will be lost. We don't know who our enemy is, so we must be prepared for anything. You don't tell me what to do, lady. I mean, kid. Yeah, you're my student. You don't tell me what to do, kid. I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. You mean candies? Nothing out of the ordinary. Do not trouble yourself over it. I have something to ask you. Better leave a rating. Fine, let's gather the information. Where's the information? Right there. Give me that. Well done. You have my thanks. Thank you. No classes on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor. I know there's talk of an assassination attempt. But do you really think they'll do it on the day of the Rite of Rebirth? I feel like security would be looser some other time. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? Uh, I don't know. I want a good fight. Sending an assassin to the monastery, hmm? Hopefully it's someone worth crossing blades with. I hope so too. It seems we're cut from the same cloth. Now I'm just saying things that you want to hear. I'll scold you later. Thunderbrand replica badge graduation. You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? Hmm. You never ask. God damn it. Begin swordsman training it starts today. Now plenty of people who would like to fight you with swords for sword battle. For example? Dimitri would love to kill it. all these faceless generic mercenaries students, I guess. Is that all? Yes, Dimitri, I think that was all of them. Good job. And that was the tournament. You get prizes and yeah, prizes for winning. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for each month. But that also takes uh, activity points away from you, so... I want to see who is this person that got a request by Lord Seth. 
two invisible person chatting with each other. Oh, there he is. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. I'm what you might call the chosen one, the Alpha of Abyss, the Reaper and the Keeper. That said, I've had some unnecessary backup recently. Lord Seteth requested my presence. There's an important ceremony happening this month. If only my backup had been a lovely lady with a thing for Watchmen. We could have had a love story for the ages. <sighs> oh, I get it. <laughs> I see how it is. Ugh, more church thugs. Can't anybody relax and have a drink around here? Loosen up. How about a game? You like cards? Oh, do you know how to play uh, speed? I love speed. I think this guy's drunk. I love Constance. First the uprising and now all this talk of an assassination? What is the world coming to? I should offer my magical services just in case. What kind of service? I've devised a spell to trick flowers into behaving like guard dogs. At the first sign of an intruder, the petals burst open, releasing their pollen! Uh, I'm, I'm still fine-tuning it. That will work if they're, you know, kind of allergic to pollens. Not everyone is allergic to pollens. I hear some thieves are targeting the monastery. I've been feeling restless lately, so if you want some help unleashing on those jerks, just say the word. I appreciate that. Oh, this could be fun. Now I've just got to figure out where they'll be coming from. My fists are itching for a brawl. Hopefully, I get first crack at those poor fools. Not to be disrespectful, but the rite of rebirth seems kind of silly. What, the goddess is reborn every year? Although, hey, if you do run into her, let me know. I'd like to have a word. I bet she'll be pretty upset to learn what the church has been doing in her name. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> I've got my ideas about the people after Lady Rhea, but even I don't know how this will shake out. I don't seem very devout, do I? <laughs> even so, I'd hate to see anything happen to the Archbishop. That secret message is suspicious. To take it at face value seems unwise. Yeah, I agree. This god statue speaks to me in a strange voice. It is a strong voice, but frightening. I wonder what is on the inside of it. We don't want to prank on you. <gasps> All right, we got him scrappy. Vinny, rested, sword, got it. Let's go ahead and use both this and. There's one person I want to recruit before the end of this month, and I want to not use my renown points, and it will be this little murderous person. Let's see if this works. My favorite meal at my favorite cost. Free. Gotta love this place. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Alright. Cool. Mm. Something with Balthus. And he has one with Lysithia. Awesome sauce. Ugh, training was exhausting today. Need some quick energy. Aha! Perfect time for my favorite candy! I won't make it back to my room without this sweet, sweet energy. And no one's around, so... Hmm. <laughs> Looky here! It's the little lady of House Ordelia. Just back from training, yeah? You're unstoppable. <laughs> Not feeling chatty, I see. Something to do with those puffy cheeks? Got a cavity brewing or what? I definitely don't! Glad you can't even speak properly, you poor thing. It's okay, I know a guy. He'll have that rotten tooth out in no time. No need! Yep, best in the business. He 
Use the special tools and everything. Door and a string or some such. That's horrible. No, no. Thank you. Oh, you just had food in your mouth. You could have told me that a lot sooner, you know. Wow. Placing the blame on me? What a piece of work. But, uh, hey, don't tell anyone. That you were walking around with acorn stuffed cheeks like some kind of overzealous squirrel? Ah, uh, it wasn't acorns. It was candy. Even still, I don't plan on telling anyone a hungry girl ate some food. Not much of a story, really. You don't get it. If people think I'm gnawing on candy, they'll think I'm nothing more than a child. That effect. I'd say it's downright prudent to fortify yourself any chance you get. Mature, even. Wait, what? Nothing is certain in life, not even your next meal. You never know when you'll be taken into custody and have to go without food and drink for a while. Just what kind of a world do you inhabit, mister? The real world, little lady. My life is a collection of getting into trouble, getting caught, and getting free. One time, I was actually rescued by your parents. Bet you didn't know that, huh? They... rescued you? Too true. I owe them for that. I... Ah! I forgot I'm actually in a rush. I gotta run. Enjoy your secret candy, pal. Mother and father rescued that guy? But when would that have happened? I like it. I I enjoy get this feeling that every time I do something uh do a support that has to deal with uh with the ashen wolves it's gonna load a little bit more slowly back out. Because you know it wasn't programming the main game in the first place. Like I got an armored teddy bear, take it. What? I don't know who's to blame. Oh! Oh, you can now see the status. I don't think this was um I don't think this was available before the DLC. I I don't think so. Recruit. Yes. I bet you I would <clears throat> actually enjoy being in your class quite a lot. I <sighs> Like, I was here, can I help you? I thought she was just gonna repeat. But no, she actually will join my class. This was a successful interaction, I must say. <laughs> like a claw, he's like, ah, oh, god damn it, I lost another classmate to the profess to teach. Ah. Please provide me with all the most challenging assignments. I want to be well equipped for the future. Let's go 1000 up. There he is. They need to waste too much. All right. Let's see what about this is up to. Stubborn little. That's it. Nighty night, sleepyhead. Whew. Guess that's it. Can't let low lives like you into Garrick Mock. Nobody likes troublemakers. Trust me. What the? Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up on people. It's rude. But we can discuss your lacking manners another time. Why are you here? You following me, pal? A secret. Guess I can't fault you for that, since you seem to have been mopping up enemies without me knowing it. She really thinks I'm gonna try to reclaim my title. <laughs> she clearly doesn't know me too well. Yet she keeps sending fools my way like the stubborn shrew she is. That's my stepmother for you. Never mentioned her before. Shocking. Remember when I told you my little bro inherited House Albrecht after I left? Well, he's my half bro, and his mother is devoted, to say the least. She'd do anything for him. Sadly, he had the nerve to be born without a crest. And here I stand with a rare one swimming in my veins. She's convinced I'll return one day to take back my title by force. Completely off her rocker, that one. Oh, we can fix this. Nah, not worth the effort. 
It's best for everyone that I take the brunt of her malice. I can handle it just fine. If I wasn't around, she'd shift her beady gaze to my dad. Maybe even to my mom, who fled the house a while back. Or maybe my little bro would become the target of her good intentions. Can't allow that to happen. That makes sense. And that's the bottom line. Long story short, you should keep your distance from me. If that assassin's dagger took you out, everyone here would fall to pieces. How would I explain that? I can't protect- I can't protect the both of us. That's... that's some big talk, pal. So, you'll protect me too, will you? To think someone who can keep up with the exalted king of grappling would say such a swell thing. I'm a betting man, so I'll take the bait. Let's see if you really intend to protect me. Or if those were just pretty words. Trust me, I am very strong. Yeah, there, there, there was that delay right there. Alright, I got one support. Constant and Yuri. Yuri! Halt! How dare you make me run all over the monastery! Calm down. That was all on you, shady lady. Shady? Uh, you know full well I'm sensitive about that. It's as though you wish to be incinerated. <clears throat> what I mean to say is, all shall be forgiven when you do my bidding. Uh... I know, I know. It's an honor I don't extend to many. You have the rare opportunity to aid me in realizing my dream. I shall rebuild House Nouvelle. Nobility will be mine again, and the glory of my esteemed family will once more reign supreme. Blah, blah, blah. Restore House Nouvelle. Blah, blah, blah. Will you just stop? You're making my ears hurt. <laughs> I am but an insignificant and beautiful creature. Surely there's nothing I have to offer for your plight. Your facade does not fool me. I know you for what you truly are. With the nobility's backing, Western Fodland's underworld is yours. Everyone has heard whispers of the savage Mockingbird. That is you they refer to, yes? <laughs> <sighs> Your time would be better spent laying the groundwork for me to reclaim my title. I envision you using your connections to apply pressure on the nobles in Envar. Right. So say I indulge you, that I agree on this killer bird you speak of. What I offer comes at a high price. You do understand that, right, milady? How exactly do you intend to compensate me? But what greater compensation could I offer than to play a part in restoring House Nouvelle? Restoration of houses does nothing to put food in my stomach. I suppose. But rest assured that upon my return to power, you shall be suitably rewarded. Let me cut through the mud here. You're broke, and you'll pay me after you get what you want. Wow. I love how irresponsible you are. <laughs> Refreshing. Then what would you have me do? I have nothing to bargain with now. No status, no wealth. Perhaps rather than turning to a killer bird for help, you should be bound before the nobles or some such. Get down on all fours and lick their boots. See what that'll get you. <laughs> Perhaps you're too prim and proper for that. Lick their boots? Is tonguing their footwear likely to sway them to my cause? My work here is done. <laughs> oh, I was not through with you yet. You, you come back here. Hey! <laughs> He doesn't get to figure a figure of speech. Alright. Before I end the day, let's see if I can get people to come recruit for me. Bernadetta, join me. Um, sorry. Um, <sighs> scampered up to me, hopped in my lap, and scarfed it all down in one bite. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I was looking forward to that sandwich all morning, and then she scurried off like nothing happened. <sighs> ah. hmm. Alright then, what do you feel like doing today? Why 
did you sigh like that? It's not a problem, is it? I could tell you were holding back a real monstrous sigh yourself. Figured I'd get one out for the both of us. Felt great. Oh, I see. Must be nice, sighing whenever you feel so inclined. Oh, why not try taking a deep breath whenever you feel a sigh coming on? Trick yourself out of it. I tried that once. It went okay at first, but then I had to exhale. Right. Guess they're too similar for that to work. Does that mean yawning is a no-go too? I'm pretty bored right now, so maybe we'll find out. But I don't yawn very often, to be honest. Because you sleep when the sun goes down and wake when it rises, yeah? Yep, that's been my routine for a while now. It's easier than contending with a full day of boring stuff. Come on, everything has its quirks. I don't think I'd call anything in this wild world boring. Really? Because you don't seem to take much interest in your own future. <laughs> That's not very nice, is it? We really aren't all that different, you know. I'd wager you haven't given too much thought to tomorrow either. Quiet. Don't pretend you can see through me. This pointless chatter has made me even hungrier than I already was. I'm off to the dining hall. Just wanted the gal to relax for a change. <sighs> She's as prickly as ever. Hilda, be a dear and spot me some gold, will ya? Slow down, Balti. You can't be asking for money without so much as a hello. You're kidding, right? Kidding, yeah. Thing is, I was deadly serious. I don't joke about matters of gold. Ugh, your request is denied. You didn't used to be like this, you know. I get the feeling you don't mean anything good by that. But come on, I'm the same as I ever was. No, you used to be dependable. Like that time in the woods near Fodlin's throat, you remember? Thinking, thinking. Are you sure that was me? Yes. Ugh. I had told Holst I wanted to go on a walk in the forest. <laughs> Holst never could tell you no. Hmm, <laughs> few can. Anyway, when the three of us got there, a horde of monsters appeared. I started wailing. Uh-huh, uh-huh, then what happened? My brother started hitting one of the beasts with a wooden sword. You hoisted me over your shoulder. Holst told you to get me to safety even if it killed you. So you ran the whole way from the forest to the estate with me on your back. Ah, I remember it now. Toughest run of my life. I was so exhausted, I threw up about a month's worth of lunches afterward. And then you turned right around and started running back. You said, oh, I've got to save Holst. A good thing, too. Holst was moments from winding up in that thing's stomach. Had to slam into it, then Holst and I kept punching till the deed was done. Truly a fight to remember. It was impressive, especially considering you were just teenagers. When you came back, you were just bruised boys in tattered clothes. But to me, you look like heroes. And now, here you are, a scrounger who can hardly open his mouth without nagging me for money. What happened to that brave little boy who saved me from a monster? Wow, way to shame a guy. I feel awful. But I still need gold. Can't live without it in this cruel world. Oh, come on. We both know that when you have money, you drink or gamble it all away. But I suppose I could ask my brother to help pay off your debts. Get you back on your feet. Don't you dare speak to Holst about this. He's a close friend. I hate to ruin what we have by borrowing gold. Oh, but you have no qualms about using his little sister? Figured I'd be an easy mark, is that it? Unbelievable. That could have gone better. Stupid rain. Go back to the stupid cloud you came from. I'm soaked. Achoo! What a pain. Happy? Yikes. You look like you just crawled out of a lake. Here, dry yourself off. And don't just stand there. You'll catch a cold. Come on. I'll make you some tea. Oh, um, okay. Huh. It's been ages since I had a nice cup of tea during a rainstorm. Pretty nice, eh? 
I don't drink tea very often. It is nice. But what does the rain have to do with anything? Doesn't rain make you want to read a book? Or rather, nap with a book on your lap. Though, I guess I'd like that no matter the weather. But then, if the book is too good, not only will I be unable to sleep, my tea would get cold. That makes brewing it a wasted effort. Ah, and that's why I don't drink tea when it rains. Right. Thanks for clearing that up. And thanks for the cup of tea. Well, I'm pretty much dry now. Gotta say, though, I'm kind of confused. Huh? About what? This just seems way out of character for you. You're so focused on yourself, you've barely ever spoken to me before now. No, oh, good point. The thing is, I'm not cut out for battle. If a fight breaks out, I'm only a liability. It's better for everyone if I keep my distance. What does fighting have to do with... Oh, I get it. You think I'm gonna sigh. You're just like the others. But if that's true, why are you acting so different? What do you mean? Use your words to make the things in your head make sense to the rest of us. Fine. Here's what's in my head. I don't understand why you're being nice to me. Look around us. Nobody else will even risk coming near me. They're probably afraid you'll sigh, since you looked pretty rough when we came in. Makes sense. Your sighs are disastrous. If I can prevent one with a nice, lazy cup of tea, it's the least I can do. I see. You did it for your own sake. Well, whatever your reasons, I'm surprised that you'd even consider doing this. For me. Surprised or not, it's no skin off my back. I'll keep doing what I do regardless of anyone's expectations. Think on that. I expected you to be a hazard, but you weren't. No harm, no foul, no need to sigh. If only it were that simple. Ah, it's you. Where I'm going is hardly your business. Do me a favor and mind your own, won't you? <laughs> Ever the professor, aren't you? So, what's your deal? Worried about my well-being? <laughs> That's adorable. I get the sense you're not so hot at assessing people. Just giving you a hard time. Either way, it doesn't matter much to me. There's no slowing me down tonight. I've got important things to attend to right now. <sighs> there you go with that nose of yours. It still isn't your business, but it looks like you won't let me leave until I tell you. You'll get your way this time. There's a dispute. Or maybe treachery is the more fitting word. Regardless, a purge is required. <sighs> I see I've got to spell it all out for you. One of my goons double-crossed the gang. He absconded with his boss's small fortune my small fortune, and buddied up with another gang. Members of the gang are recognizable by their scorpion tattoos. Suffice it to say, they're not a group you want to tangle with. Despite that, I'm not about to just roll over and play dead on this. So I figured I'd pay them a little visit, have a spot of tea with their boss. Makes sense, you know. <laughs> As a former mercenary, I knew you'd get it. You know how things are done in our world. I play my cards wisely. I wouldn't play if there wasn't any hope of winning. It won't be. One false move, and the walls will be painted with blood. Still sound fun? Better head off now. I've got people waiting for me just outside of town. See you around. What is it you're after? Money? Me? Or are you just looking for someone to kill? You seem adamant, so I'll allow it. Won't hurt to have backup if things go south. I trust you, for now, but I don't know how reliable you actually are. Just so we're clear, 
You mess with any of my people, I'll slit your throat without hesitation. Got that? Happy, you must know that it's rather uncomfortable to be the subject of such an unflinching gaze. You'll have to put up with it for a little while longer. I feel like I can almost remember. Apologies, but I'm not sure what you're referring to. Care to elaborate? I have this sense that we met somewhere, before we were students. But you're the Prince of Fargus, so how could I have met you? I do not recall meeting you previously either. Although, long ago, I sometimes accompanied my father as he traveled the kingdom. Perhaps we crossed paths. Unlikely. I lived in an isolated village in the forest. We didn't have contact with outsiders. After I ran away, I was kidnapped. And my kidnapper kept me locked up all day and night. I think I'd remember if the royal family had stopped by for a visit. Kidnapped? What do you mean by that? A lady found me a helpless runaway, and offered to take me in. She promised to keep me safe. Instead, I became her test subject. She experimented on me with all kinds of spells and rituals. I had a roof over my head and plenty to eat, but otherwise it was a pretty bad experience. Mm. This may be unwelcome from a stranger like myself, but I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable to be angry about such unfortunate circumstances. I can't fathom why someone would cause you pain like that. I'm sorry you had to endure such a thing. You have every right to feel anything you need to feel toward the person responsible for your suffering. Oh, that's weird. Hmm, I wonder. What's the matter? Was it something I said? It's just that I've heard those words before. I think it was someone else who said them, but I can't remember who. Maybe I'll figure it out someday. In the meantime, see you around. Yes, of course. If our meeting again can help you in any way, you need only ask and I'll be there. <laughs>